The death of Prince is truly an untimely tragedy. Is what I would be saying if it were 1987. <laughs> Prince was found dead in his home in Minnesota. Probably from a burst ego. The real tragedy is that now that both he and Kirby Puckett are dead, there are virtually no black people left in the Midwest. The only thing mildly interesting about Prince's death is that he died on Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday. Now I'll give credit where credit is due. The guy was a huge talent whose music regularly topped the charts, earning him seven Grammys and an Oscar. The brutal honesty of his lyrics even led to the creation of Tipper Gore's laughably out of touch Parents Music Resource Center. The group behind those lame advisory labels for music. Which only made me want to buy an album more! He went from being called Prince to the artist formerly known as Prince when he decided to turn himself into a literal symbol. But now he's on his way to becoming a distant memory, as the corpse formerly known as the artist formerly known as Prince. And now that he's dead, everybody has to run to their social media to pretend like they were the biggest Prince fans ever. Just like they did with David Bowie a few weeks prior. You'd think the Angel of Death was booking acts for his 80s themed birthday party. Well I guess now we better get a sequin funeral shroud and a huge purple coffin. That is unless Prince decides to be cremated. In that case, I guess we'll see what it sounds like when dubs fry.